Hey guys, welcome back to Diet Jesus. My name is Maple. And I'm Ariana. And today we are watching Invincible. We're on season two, episode six. Woo! Just do it, you prick. Aren't they in like the government? <sighs> he said it doesn't mean that he's dead. Sometimes you come out of that. Maybe not this time, but maybe. Come on, Eve, get up! Oh, shit, he passed out. Oh. Almost done. Whatever. I really hope that liquid doesn't do anything. Will fail. It will fail. Oh my god, I. Ugh. <laughs> Oh god. I hate that. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm not as strong as Eve, but I can keep them away for a few minutes. A few minutes is all I need. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, uh, Shapesmith? Uh, please, all right. Ruby? Done. Tell them someone has to get this close to Russ and then press the button. Anyone? Please, all right. Someone, anyone, give it to me. I'll do it. What? Dare you? Oh my God! I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know it. Don't fail. Go. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I, was I was like, like are we really about to beef about this right now? Yeah. The aggro piece is crazy. No, 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 I can't. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! No! Oh, they're sorry, inside! Sorry, 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 sorry! No! 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 Dude, come on! Ew, he's so gross looking! Come on, dude! There we go. There we go. Go, 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 Mark. Mark, go. Please go. Team assist. Team assist. assist. Oh. Got you. Yes. Hell yes. We did it. Did you? No. Oh, no. We told you we were too powerful. Oh, I knew it. They came in the back end. Maybe there's some juice left in this thing. They're going to kill him. No! Oh, okay. Well, kill those sequins. You okay? Yeah. Okay, can so we go? Me again. Yes, hooray! Ten out of ten. We need to go now. Yes. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Wait, they don't have a ship. The guardians are dead. They're so dead. There's so many things going on. The mass of your precious little missile base. I'm not sure you'll ever get the floors clean again. Agree to my demands, and I will consider not destroying half of the nation. Oh, <laughs> Rex lived. So could this brave little soldier. Seems like the loss of your brain hasn't hurt you as much as one would expect. Oh my. Shut up. <laughs> Dang, go off, King. Oh, you weak ass bitch. Sorry, I'm so sorry, Jess. The noises, bro. Are you all right? Why would you? That's a weird question. You know me. I'm practically. Dude. <laughs> this is wild. Wait, is Ray alive still? Bro, stop. I need a. I'm never gonna eat sushi again. Chin up. Fingers through there. Oh. Mouth shut. I catch a bug. I can't. <laughs> we are grateful. You're welcome. Uh, look, we gotta go. 
But we cannot permit you to leave with the Great Betrayal. <laughs> Imagine that being your nickname, the Great Betrayal. <laughs> Why is he shocked? He's like, me? You must remain here for punishment. What kind of punishment? Death. I understand. <laughs> like, I do not care. This is as fast as it goes. Wait, who's shooting them, though? The Martians? Oh, because did they take the they other? They took him. Yeah, he's right oh. there. Years back, I've only been inside one of these ones when I was a kid. <laughs> Open the airlock. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Dang, Mark, he found his rhythm. Not. He is waging war with the Martians right now. It was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, well, you know, I trained with the best, right? <laughs> I. How's some weird tension? Good work. Thanks. You too. Let's see if we can do this without you peeing on me again. Thank you for the update, Cecil. I'm glad Mark and the others are safe. Let's be honest. That's not the only reason you're here. The GDA has an entire department dedicated to superhero children. Dude, their TV's right. fucking huge. Yeah, it is. The top secret government lab is the perfect place to raise a child. After everything Nolan put you through, no one expects you to raise this kid. Let us help. Mama. Oh, <gasps> sweetie. The truth is, Cecil, this isn't about Nolan or me. It's about Mark. <laughs> this child is Mark's brother, his only brother, which makes him family to me too. And let me remind you that I raised Mark, who just saved the world. Again, I'm more than qualified to do this. All right, mm -hmm. you win. But we're here if you need us, and I expect to be kept in the loop. Mm. I it's mean, there's already cameras and stuff inside so you can already watch it captain livingston <laughs> you kind of it's already know. bugged i'm gonna need an entire box of q-tips to get all that sequid slime out of my ears <laughs> you're lucky you only got some in your ears oh no uh oh seeing you in my mind okay so she is dead dang that is beyond critical condition <laughs> Good job, Oliver. Oliver? Mark. Rabra. Rabra. <laughs> Rabra. Rabra. After Grandpa? He needed an actual name besides Nolan's alien baby. <laughs> <laughs> good. I like it. Ah, oh, so cute. A lot of funerals. Kate Chaw was a fearless warrior. Though her powers came from a family curse, she believed they were a gift to help those around her. That was Kate's real power. Kate Shaw was a kindred soul. It was a beautiful service. I'm glad it didn't rain. Kate hated the rain. Why do I feel this way, Marcus? Because you loved her, man. I loved... Many others before Kate, all of them died as well. But this, this is different. It's a terrible Why day for rain. Stop! Don't don't give rain. me more complex PTSD combining <laughs> our terrifying shows. You think they're gonna break up? <sighs> Over broken heart lattes. How's your mom? Uh, mm. Sorry, you go. He looks oh, exhausted. No, you go, please. Doesn't he? So, classes are going okay? I mean, I'm at the point where I just roll out of bed and go to lectures in my pajamas. Well, how's your new brother? Is he adjusting? Is your mom losing her mind yet? Uh, Oliver's doing great, and they really get along. You could just... Okay, can I just, just say kidding. this feels like a first date? Yeah, a bad first date. Yeah, but, like, why does it feel too. Like... Really think We're gonna unpack that. Would be different. You know, like late night study sessions, secret dorm parties, spending time with my girlfriend. We hang out less than we did before we went to college. Whenever my friends here ask where you are, I'm always like, oh, Mark's studying for an exam, or he went home for the weekend. I hate lying to them, Mark. It's our first year of college, our first time living on our own, and it 
Feels like we're missing it. You know, sometimes I wish I never got powers. Then I could just be with you oh. and forget about everything else. But you do have powers. And that means you have an obligation to make the world a better place. And if you didn't feel that way, we wouldn't be dating to begin with. Feels so, like they're talking so slow. What do we do now? Two X. It does feel very slow. Right? Just break up. You got to break up. Not because you don't like her. You're young. You don't have time. Mark might You'll destroy find the something world. else. Look, Mark back. might destroy the world. What? Well, Rick, how are you He's feeling? Supposed to. Hi, Mark. I guess I'm fine. He's doing great. Not real. Doctors gave him a clean bill of health. Donald says he can come back to Upstate, right? Yeah, he's probably I'm like Donald. Facilitate his transition. If there's anything I can do, just call me. Come on, Rick. I guilted the college into giving you a private room in the dorm next door. I already decorated it. Rick looks exactly the same. It's like nothing happened. Now, something did happen. He went through intensive body reconstruction. That kind of trauma can resurface. Donald, are you okay? Tell no. William I'll check in later to see how it No, he's doing. not. Uh, okay. Bye. Well, you look like sh And that's coming from a guy that looks like this. <laughs> Heard you're getting a new hand, too. <laughs> yeah. Lucky me. How's Ray? Can you get a cannon blaster? Oh, <laughs> when that bullet went through my head, I saw my life flash before my eyes. That's always sounded like bullshit to me, too, but it's not. And I didn't like what I saw. I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve, too. To every woman I've ever dated. I don't know why I had to get my brains blown out to see that. What is it about being a superhero where we go around saving lives while ruining them at the same time? All right, let's hear it. Hear what? The reason your face looks all, I don't know, you know, sad and shit. Mark. Oh, hey, Eve, you here to see Rex? Yeah, I try to stop in when I can. Turns out Rex really likes home decorating magazines. <laughs> I think it's because he's never really had a home. Hey, I haven't seen you since Kate's funeral. Are you okay, Mark? Yeah, no, um, I'm fine. Anyway, I, I, I gotta run, so I'll, I'll see you around. The bearer of spring colors and waterfall countertops. <sighs> You're the only person I know who still reads magazines. Oh, I'm cultured like that. I just read into Mark. And... Ugh, I know, right? He and Amber are... Wait, what does that mean? Hi, I'm April Housum here for the nanny position. Now, before we begin... You should know that Cecil sent me. Now, I wasn't supposed to tell you, but I think it's unacceptable to mislead a potential employer, especially one looking for someone to take care of their child. So you know that Oliver is half Thraxin, half Viltramite. My philosophy on child rearing is simple. Encourage a child's natural curiosity for the world. Here you go, buddy. While giving him structure and a safe space to grow and learn. I also play a mean lullaby on the ukulele. I hey, appreciate your honesty, April. I don't want a GDA agent in my house running interference for Cecil on how to raise Oliver. There's only a handful of people in the world with my skill set. This allows me job security and freedom from government oversight. I work for you, Miss Grayson, not Cecil, period. You're the boss, not him. Not my boss. <laughs> See? Oliver knows who's in charge. Real nice place you made here, Eve. Uh. Cecil. Reminds me of where I grew up. I wanted to thank you personally for helping out with the whole secret business and to once again offer you a spot on the Guardians. Cecil. Duplicate's dead. Ray and Rex were in the hospital and Immortal is... Well, let's be frank, his head is not in the game right now. So what do you say? Ready to join the team? I'm still figuring out what kind of hero I want to be. And you know where to find me when you change your mind. When you change your, your mind. Bold, Cecil. Amber? Your place really blends in with the trees. Can we talk? Do you think she's going to give them her blessing? I don't know. <laughs> I told you it's going to be another four hours. Hey, Art. Mark, sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. Just leave your suit and I'll have it fixed by morning. I actually came to talk, but if you're busy, I can 
What's on your mind? Well, girl trouble. That obvious, huh? I knew dating Mark would be difficult. I just didn't know it would be so lonely. I feel like I'm failing Mark. Amber. You're not saving the world right now. And Mark's back on Earth, so I guess the question you have to ask yourself is, why, why are, you are you here talking, talking to me when, when you should, should be, be talking, talking to, to him? Her. Go home and be with your girlfriend. Yeah, thanks okay, for listening. So... Hey, your mom told me what happened with your dad on Thraxel. It had to be tough seeing him again. Even after everything he did, I didn't realize how much I missed him. I don't know. Maybe that makes me a bad person or something. And the last thing he told me before the Viltrumites took him away wasn't, I love you, or I'm sorry. It was, read my books. Nolan wrote more than just travel books. What? He wrote sci-fi novels under a pen name when you were a kid. Lost inside the chasm to oblivion. Hate tribes on the planet wreck. I told Nolan they were great. Yeah. I never read them. The man with the invincible gun. Catchy title, Dan. Little was known about the Space Rider. He was a mystery. Stories about him stretched across the 12 galaxies. But in all of them, one detail remained constant. The Infinity Ray. It was said to emit an unstoppable energy wave that destroyed anything in its path. Freaking space hate. sharks. Space and more shark. Importantly, a steady mind. Space piranhas. I'm a space or piranha. A weapon to be used I'm a piranha. In pace. Dang. Light them up. If oh. the Infinity Ray is indeed real, and as powerful as the stories claim, it poses a huge, huge threat to our mission. Find the Ray. Find the Ray. I feel like you should just read savage all the books. Savage planet, savage beasts. Our mission was simple. To investigate this harsh planet and report back to Space Command headquarters. The first thing we noticed was its gravity. The planet was so dense and its pull so strong, we could barely move. After finding no usable resources, my partner and I were ready to return home. I feel but like this is all based on true plans. stories. Oh, oh yeah. my God. What? Ragnar. Uh, Arnar, not the Ragnar. Arnar. Runawar. In an instant, I was surrounded. I've oh my God! Times their size, Ew. but because of the gravity on this planet, Ragnars had evolved strength like no other. I had grossly underestimated these creatures, and I feared this place would be my grave. Wait! No way! You and a long overdue vacation. No. I wasn't asking. How dare you? Sykes concerned. So am I. And since you refuse to see our specialist... I don't need your pinheads poking around my brain! Kate's death was difficult for everyone, but I need you I to... said I'm fine! What? Someone's coming in hot from deep space. Omni man. Immortal weight. Probably Christ. Alan. Death Rogan. Yep, it's Alan. Ugh, where did Invincible C lived again? Wasn't he green last episode? Hey, I... Yeah, he changed colors because he was orange originally, but then he was green. But now he's back to green. It's just this implant I have. It lets us communicate telepathically. Hey, I am not here to fight. I'm just looking for invincible. Invincible. Only man sent you. No. Invincible. What the hell is going on? I don't know. I came here looking for you, and then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. You have those on Earth, right? Douchebags. <laughs> He's a good guy. His girlfriend just died. Well, now I feel like a giant douche. We need to talk. Can we go somewhere that's not like in space? Oh, right, we should be good now. Shoot, and Amber's gonna see it and like just know. Oh. You're a lot bigger than the last time I saw you. Apparently that's what happens when you almost get murdered by a bunch of Ultramites and you or me. <laughs> but get this. My boss Thetis, also a Viltramite. What? I know, right? It turns out he rebelled against the Empire, like, years ago. That makes two of you. It's not much, but it is a start. Now, we can only win over your dad. Yeah, uh, about my dad. That is quite the story. Do you think my dad's dead? Filtramites are weird about killing their own people. I think because it doesn't happen much anymore. Why are you here exactly? Oh, yes, right. 
Of course. On behalf of Thetis and the Coalition of Planets, I am to escort you to Telescria to discuss our war against the Viltrum Empire and how you can help. What? No. I, I just got back from space. Twice. This could be our chance to end Viltrumite tyranny for good. Now that my mom's looking after my half-brother, I can't just ditch her. I should get going. Thetis will not be happy with me. Maybe I can help with that. I have a hunch about something, but I need a second opinion. Huh. This place sounds kind of familiar. Hey! Is that Space Racer? Well, it's Space Rider in the book. Okay, so I think everything in these books is real. And it's all stuff that can hurt Viltrumites. That's why my dad wanted me to read his books. Can I, uh, can I scan these to take back to the Coalition? Of course. Thetis will be a lot less pissed when I show him all of this. All right, got it. It was good seeing you again, Mark. Thank you. Yeah, I, I still don't get why they took him away when they could have just killed him on Thraxa. I've heard rumors of a Viltrumite prison somewhere in space. Maybe they took him there. Tell Thetis that when it's time to attack, when you need someone for the actual fight, I'll be there. Count on it. In order for a Viltrumite to be executed, he must be healed and whole. Oh, dang. To stand <clears throat> the end of his life with honor. What is that? Is there is a path to redemption. Rejoin your people, Nolan. Let this not be your legacy. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? Here, answer me. Does he have a robot eye? <laughs> or do you think that's his monocle? That planet and its people are toxic if they could do this to you. They Interchange too. It, it, dang, they too will pay? Oh, shit. It wasn't enough that you left me to die on Mars. You had to trash my place, too. <laughs> uh. <coughs> no, no, oh, dude, no, I can't no, do the no, 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 it's gonna be a sec one. No, no. <sighs> Don't. Really? Oh, I knew it! That just spiked my blood pressure so bad. Mm, an excellent fit, if I do say so myself. May I ask, sir, what's the occasion for such a fine suit? Oh. <laughs> I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, God. He wants to kill Invincible, too, doesn't he? Ah, uh, it is good to be home. Neck brain. Neck brain. That was wild. That was um, wild. Yeah, this episode was wild. Um, it felt kind of slow to me, but I think, I don't know. I don't feel great today, so it could just be that that I'm kind of like you know everything feels I mean? like it's going in slow motion. Oh God, everything feels like it's it was going a lot so of slow, but I think just the I just don't really care about the relationship stuff. Just being honest. No, I agree. Um, I do think that that part, like that, was a lot of time dedicated to Amber and Mark. For when them there's to like a not... thousand other things going on. Yeah, for them to not like make a decision fully, like. And to be honest, I really think they're just like trying. And and again, I don't want to be a jerk, but like, and I'm not, and I don't want to dismiss the writers, but like the. They made her really. It's like they're trying to counteract for how shitty they made Amber last city last time. Yeah, that's where and it's how unlikable like... that she was to come back and make it like, ooh, they're just gonna gracefully break up and it'll be fine and whatever. Also, even Mark feel like they have tension. We get it. She'll understand. She's a superhero. And it's like in the real world, it would be dramatic, but outside of all things, like you start the episode with Rexplode getting like. Back up yeah. after getting shot in the head, right? So then it's like, okay, so you start on such a dramatic note just for the entire midsection of the episode to be like something that's completely like it's regular, yeah, and normal compared to like everything else. And maybe that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to show, you know, like the, the duplicity of it all. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I do think that part in the middle did make it a little stronger. I'm crazy excited to see 
I want to hear more about these books, man. I wish we would have gotten more of the books because I definitely do think they all happened. Also, yeah. homie coughing up the second, like I he when he started coughing so hard, I was like, it's I know that's what it's gonna be. I know it. Every time we see a character go and cough into a sink, well, then does that mean that they need to check? Uh, that's what I was wondering. I was like, they're not gonna, even like, check Rudy. Them. Like after, like that seems like an oversight by Cecil. Like, yeah, like, he, I don't. I just don't ever see Cecil having that many oversights because he's so, like, in everything. That it's yeah. like, how did you let that man... Maybe that's like, what it is. Maybe he's just too in everything. Because here's the thing, like, how... Do, like, they have a hive mind, or, right? Like, so yeah. if one is on him, how does he get connected to others? Right? Can he get connected to others? I don't know. Because like, if could they're not he, within like, the area. Right. So... Could he te- could he like telepathically like do teach they just... the other ones to fly the spaceship like down or something? But they still need a body and a host. True. Because if not, they're just kind of because they like were a... like forcing the Martians to fly him, you know. Yeah. But my question is then too, like like you just said, what if they're live? What if there's two more of them living in Rudy and Eve? Yeah. Damn. So okay, that, that'll well, be crazy. Also, yeah. big brain guy. What's big brain guy's name? I forget his name. Me too. But yeah, multiverse man. We know he hates Mark. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging oh, out with us. Oh, wait. sorry, sorry. Nolan's still alive. They haven't killed him yet. Oh yeah, yeah. He's in like the prison thing. So that's gonna be crazy. I know. He's um, in a breakout. They all band together. They take over. But it's just building more resentment towards Earth if it's destroying yeah. Nolan. That's what they're saying. We're going to destroy the whole planet. Yeah. Because they're more upset that, like, Nolan is no longer, like... It's toxic. He has feelings. He cares. Although it doesn't seem like Nolan really ever was fully... If he wrote all those books, like... I, but I guess in considering, like, their timeline, like... Yeah. How long they're alive, then... Yeah, it's not. I don't know. It, yeah, it does seem like it's probably like a minuscule amount of time compared to the rest, right, of his time on, on, his, on, existence what, in the galaxy, existence yeah. in existence, in existence. <laughs> so, gosh. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching with us. I and, want to see more. Yeah. So we'll see you back here. Bye, guys. Bye.